So you said you live out of your van? <laughs> yeah, it's really convenient. And I know Kelly loves it. So you're homeless? Dad, come on, you said you would be nice. It's okay, Kelly. But yeah, Mr. Rothschild, in a sense, I don't have a traditional home. The van's my home, and well, the street's in my backyard. Seriously, Kelly? This is the guy you've been dating for two years? And he's been living out of his van the entire time? No, I actually got it a couple months ago. If you want, you can come have a tour of it. A couple months ago? Where were you living before that? Dad, I told you to stop. No, seriously, where was he living before that? I lived on Lancashire in 190th. Oh my goodness. Kelly, where did you meet this guy? On an app? Connecting rich girls with bums? Dad, you're being so rude to talk. He's a good-looking man and a hard-working man. And you don't need money to be classy, okay? Sir, I'd just like to say, I'm not a bum, okay? And we're all born with nothing, and we take nothing when we die. And I've learned a lot of useful skills living on the streets. And it can really take a person back spiritually to the natural roots of nature. Look here, you little creep. That spiritual mumbo jumbo might work on my daughter, but it's not gonna work on me, okay? I know a loser when I see one, and you, my son, are a huge loser. I want you out of this house, and I want you to leave my daughter alone. Dad, that's enough. I introduced you to Todd because I'm in love with him, and he's in love with me. We're talking about marriage. Oh, heck no, Kelly. Can't you see this guy's using you? He just wants you for your money. You come from a good family. So does he. Well, what do his parents do? Well, I mean, are, I mean... Are, are they homeless too? Sir, my mom abandoned us when I was five. And my dad... What, in jail? Yeah, actually. But he was framed. Son, I'm sorry you had a tough life, okay? But Kelly, you can do so much better than this. Just lose a little bit of weight and you'll have guys lined up that are more in our status. Let's go, Todd. We don't have to hear this. Where are you guys going to go? Out to my driveway? Well, I'll be sure to leave the lights on for you tonight. I'm sorry, Todd. It's okay, babe. As long as you love me and you're sticking by my side. Of course I do. Do, wait, let's do this. Do what? Kelly, Alexandra Rothschild. I first fell in love with you. What the heck is this? You're proposing to her right now? Tati, you just ruined my proposal. Let me see this. Is, it, is this even real? Kelly, this has got to be a fake, honey. Well, rings are kind of a waste of money. We're, we're saving up. <laughs> oh gosh, Kelly. He's got you brainwashed. This is so not like you. Dad, please. Honey, can I talk to you privately? That's why I came out here. I just want to make sure that you're making the right decision. I'll be right back, my handsome prince. Please make it quick, Dad. What's the rush, honey? I mean, what, he's got a job interview lined up? Or, or maybe he left the stove on in his van. Seriously, Dad, you called me here to bash my boyfriend, fiance more? You mean you're gonna say yes? <sighs> Sweetie, this is what I wanted to talk to you about, okay? You know, ever since you were a little kid, you have wanted a fairy tale wedding. Do you really think a guy living out of his van can provide that for you? I mean, I know you've always wanted a real diamond ring. And I've always given you real jewelry when you were growing up. Now your future husband can't even afford that for you? He can't provide that for you? Come on, sweetie, be realistic. Slow it down, okay? This is not how your mom and I raised you. Keep mom out of this, dad. Sweetie, is that what this is about? Mom, is that where you two connect? Because his mom, left him and your mom left you? Mom didn't leave me, you kicked her out. Okay. All right, let's not make this about me, okay? You know she did not align up with our values. Dad, no one aligns with your values. No, mom, not Todd. Okay, I, I get it. I want perfection, I, I get it. Okay, but anybody is better than someone who's homeless, okay? Look me in the eye and tell me 
that you haven't dated better. Just that I'm getting older and the pool of men is shrinking. But you don't need to settle for this. I mean, you're still beautiful. I mean, what happened to Adam? He was a great guy and he had a nice business and he was doing well for himself. He was abusive dad and had less class than Todd. He didn't leave tips. He wouldn't wash his hands after using the restroom. He didn't look after my dog when I was out of town. And yes, he has money and the business, but that doesn't mean he has class. Honey, I just don't want you to do something you're gonna regret. Okay, I'm looking out for you. Just slow down in the relationship, okay? I know wanting a fake wedding ring is not something that you wanted. So where were we? Is, is everything okay there? Just my dad. Well, he's just looking out for you. I know if I had a daughter as lovely as you, I'd do the same. Yeah, I know. Kelly Alexandra Rothschild, from the moment I first saw you cross the street without looking both <laughs> ways, I just knew you were the girl for me. <laughs> you know, I always wanted someone uh -huh. Take that, you scammer! Dad, stop! What are you doing? Oh my god, Todd. I lost the ring. Where is it? Who cares? It's fake anyway. Dad, what is wrong with you? I cannot believe you would do that. Where is your class? He is a scammer and I knew it. What are you going on about? Is this real? I am not savvy enough to make up articles on the Huffington Post. This is everywhere. There's more out there. How did you even find this? I just Googled his full name. It's everywhere. What is this about, Todd? It's true. What, so you're a scammer? I don't understand. Ha, <laughs> told ya. I had a business and my partner was my fiance. But you know about that, Kelly. Yes, but I didn't know you scammed her out of millions. Actually, I didn't. It was the other way around. She scammed me, my ex. She was always interested in money. So when we started getting more successful, we met more successful men, and she decided to have an affair with a member of our board. They then spread all these articles about me, get me kicked off the company and out the board. Honey, this guy is full of stories. How do we know any of this is true? Actually, you don't. You'll just have to take my word for it. After the whole incident, I didn't want to live in a house or meet someone that cares about these things. You're born with nothing and you die with nothing. And all people will ever remember you by is how you behaved in your class. So I thought if I lived a simple life, I could meet my true love. You don't need money for happiness and love, sir. And it definitely doesn't define your character to other people, as we can see here. I'll go and get you a towel, Todd. It's okay, Kelly. I got one in the van. Do you want to get out of here? I think I need time to think about it, Todd. I'm sorry. I understand, Kelly. You made the right decision, honey. Whatever, Dad. How did you meet Todd anyway? I was crossing the street and I was about to get hit by a car. He pushed me out of the way and got hit instead. And I brought him to the hospital. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Jeez, you and your daughter like staying in front of cars, huh? Todd, I'm sorry. I had no idea you saved my daughter from getting hit by a car. It seems maybe that she has a little bit of Florence Nightingale effect. You know, you seem like a good guy. It's your dad. I'll explain later. But first, 
Todd proposes to Kelly and she says yes. Jim, Kelly's father, happily accepted Todd into their household and learned that having money doesn't mean you have class. After five years of marriage, Kelly discovers Todd still owns several shares of his million dollar business and he was very wealthy after all. They had several kids and lived happily ever after.